Hi everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com and today I'm taking you along to give you a little update on how our meat chickens are doing out at pasture as well as the batch that we have in the brooder. Just taking you along as we take care of them so you can see how they're doing. So they're growing pretty well now. We did have kind of a rough start at the beginning of the season once they were out here on pasture because we had some really cold weather that we weren't really expecting. I mean, in Colorado anything can happen. It's just so unpredictable. But it was colder than we've had so far with chickens out on pasture in like, when was it? Early May? So 
We did end up losing some because of the cold was just too much for them, so that was sad, but they're doing really well now. And then we have two more batches coming out that the cold shouldn't be any issue for because now the weather is consistently much more mild. And I think we're gonna take that as a lesson learned going forward just because a lot of the time, May, early May, late April is okay in Colorado, but it can also not be. So we're just gonna play it safe from here on out in the future and just not have anybody out on pasture before like Mother's Day, so like mid-May. Because after that, it's consistently warmer and you can pretty much count on nice mild weather, but we're just gonna keep the same rule like we have for our garden. Just don't bother putting anything out there before Mother's Day. I think that's what we're gonna need to do with the chickens too. But they are looking good growing well, eating well. They're really happy out here on the grass. And they're eating quite a lot at this stage. I had two full buckets. I think I'm gonna go get another partial bucket because they have some room for, for a bit more. Filled up their water, put the splash of apple cider vinegar in there, and they're good to go. Last thing is to move the pen, but since I'm pregnant right now, we just want to be a little careful, and so I'm not going to be the one moving the pen today. My husband's going to come by and do that a little bit later, just so that I'm not doing too much. So that's where these guys are at. So I'm going to feed them a little bit more feed, and then we're going to get going, and I will show you the next batch that's at home in the brooder so you can see how those guys are doing too. little helper slipped through all of this chicken care session. All right, as promised, here are the the second batch. Here is the second batch of meat chickens still in the brooder here. These ones are just a little over two weeks old. So they have about another week in here before they go up to pasture. The other guys that are out there right now are going to be processed a little in a little over a week. So it'll be perfect timing. These guys will move right out there after those guys are gone. And then in here we have our next batch of laying hen chicks. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed that little update on how our meat chickens are doing. Stay tuned because I'd like to bring you guys along on processing day for any of you who are interested in seeing how we do that very humane approach and that whole process of how that goes. As much as I think it's okay to show on video, I'll do that. So that'll probably be our next update. So stay tuned for that. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with anybody else you think would like it. And if you're new, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.